Welcome Dr. Ganjianpour, an orthopedic surgeon from Providence Holy Cross Medical Center. Dr. Ganjianpour specializes in minimally invasive joint replacement surgery. Dr. Ganjianpour, what is the most common type of joint replacement surgery that you see with your patients? The most common type of joint replacement is hips and knee replacement surgery. Uh, occasionally, shoulder replacement is also um, uh, is performed on the patients who have a severe arthritis of the shoulder, but the most common joint replacement is hips and knees. Why is knee and hip the most common type of joint replacement surgery? The hips and knees are both weight-bearing joints, so because of the weight-bearing and the activity of the patient, it puts the most amount of pressure on those two joints, and as a result, the cartilage wears out and subsequently it, they need to be replaced or repaired. Now what is the difference between regular joint replacement surgery and what you perform which is minimally invasive joint replacement surgery? The conventional surgery usually entails a longer incision which is about usually 12 to 13 inches. Uh, it also is more invasive which it basically the surgeon has to cut into more muscle tissue and into more ligaments in order to perform the operation. With the minimally invasive surgery, the operation is performed in with three to four inches of incision. So as a result, it's more cosmetic, it's less invasive, less cutting down on the ligaments and the muscles. And because of that, the patient's pain is a lot less and the recuperation is much faster. So they can go back to their regular activities and work in almost one-third of the time. After a patient has surgery, can they go back to their normal activities um, and hobbies such as hiking, golfing, playing tennis, things like that? Certainly. After the operation is performed successfully, <clears throat> the patient goes into a re rehabilitation phase and physical therapy. And once that's accomplished and the patient um, gains the uh, strength and the uh, stamina, the, they can go back to whatever activity that they used to do previously and they can enjoy anything that they used to do. How long does rehab normally take after a person has surgery? Normally after the operation it takes about an average of four to six weeks for most of the pain and discomfort to go away. In that duration, the patient also does physical therapy to strengthen the muscles. And <clears throat> normally, in six weeks' time, they can go back to normal walking and normal activity. And once they feel stronger, they can proceed to higher level of activities. If a person is experiencing joint pain, what do you recommend as the first step in getting treatment? The first thing to do is to seek a medical advice from the physician and certainly probably see a joint specialist so they can get proper x-rays and examinations. Uh, the first modalities for treatment is always um, conservative and not surgical. Uh, most likely the patient will be put on some medication, anti-inflammatories, some rehabilitation and physical therapy to build up the muscle strength and occasionally injections of some anti-inflammatories can be very beneficial. If those don't work and fails, then subsequently, if the patient is a candidate, they can uh, proceed with the uh, surgical intervention. 